Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Now I haven't done an electronics one for quite a while and some of you who have opened up a certain type of computer may recognise it. I need not state what it is now. This is the dud one, which is perfect for this kind of work. So for my Acorn Electron laptop I've got my LCD which is considerably smaller than the computer but it's what I can afford. So we need to convert because it's regulator internal regulator for this won't run on a 5 volt regulator which means we can't run it off this lovely tap here which is what I wanted to do we have to run it off the 19 volts AC which is actually getting more into the 20 volt range even when converted to DC and under load the good thing about these electron power bricks is they're pretty beefy and can supply a lot of car and up to 14 watts which is more than enough for what we need so you have the electron switch mode power supply here supplying out positive and negative 5 volts and of course the electron motherboard a newer addition in fact you can see issue 6 late 1984 and here's the circuit board that I've built which is supplying power to that so that taps directly into the 19 volts AC lines right at the beginning there we're just doing it for a temporary crock clips so the circuit consists of this so if we go to my hand drawn schematic we have the regulator here the bridge rectifier here the two filter caps and then out it's really that simple so you have your AC going to your bridge rectifier which is here so the AC this cable here goes in and links to the tracks which lead to this AC the then the positive and negative which is about 25 ish volts so even though it should be 19 volts but that's electronics it's pretty rough and ready when it comes down to it precision components are quite rare although not impossible to find they're just not in your everyday appliances then you have your filter caps a 470 UF and a 100 UF why is that one smaller? because I couldn't find another 470 UF that was at the specs the others would have blown up because when you burn out these regulators sometimes it can just output that voltage raw into that end and if that got burnt out then 10 volts yeah that would end up blowing up and it'd blow up anyway I almost blew up a cap actually building this as you can see slightly on the board side so we need to finish that off at some point in the garden where it's safe so yeah so you got your power goes through here negative just goes to the middle pin and straight out to the circuit positive goes through the chip and between the positive you put one fills cap and the other positive make sure you get the pole out and you correct and then you get your 12 volts DC which you can measure with your multimeter and it really is that simple now you'll notice there's lines going up that's because of electrical noise that's the curse of not being able to find another 470 UF but it's perfectly usable and does not affect performance of the screen and that's what matters so here is the circuit so it's consisted of about four electrical components your bridge rectifier your voltage regulator 12 volts and your two filter caps going with the KISS scenario keep it simple stupid overcomplicate something things are bound to go wrong and I have a bad habit of overcomplicating things so this project I'm making sure I don't the cassette micro recorded power supply is going to come from this off you'll notice the heat sink is off this board this particular 3 volt regulator which one's going to pump the raw ACs into a bridge rectifier for it 
Yeah, I think I need a bigger supply of bread rectifiers. I'm going to run out very quickly at this rate. Or I could actually siphon it off. Yeah, I'll siphon it off the same bridge rectifier. That that one can ha take supply so much more current. That actually gets quite hot, so that could probably do with a bigger regulator on it. But it doesn't burn out. I've left it for an hour or so running this morning. So yeah, it's so it off with its heat sink, and I will do the same with that, but that's switch mode, which means it's a bit more complex. But I can't find it through volt linear, sadly. So yes, that will be on the way soon, and that is that. It is really that simple. Okay, back to where we were. Mum wanted me to just link the hi-fi to her laptop, so I'll do that in a bit. So yeah, it is really that simple to build one of these circuits. Look on the internet. They are so simple. Uh, one thing I am just going to quickly bring up, I'm doing it now, because this is fairly important. Uh, let me just find it. It's in pictures that I dumped it, because that's why I do things. Is do, 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 do. where are you? Looking for the file. Bear with me. I should probably pause the camera for this, but I'm too lazy. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, bugger. When you want to find something, you can never find it. Sod's law. I hate you, Sod's law. Yeah. Here we go. These are bastards to find on the internet. It is your voltage regulator guide, so 7812 can take up to 30 volts. 7805 can only go up to 25. That's why I burnt out my 7808 on 30 volts. 25 volts max. They say it all go up to max of 38. No, they don't. Don't believe that for a second. Data sheets can be a bit dodgy. Don't believe everything they say. So yes, it is really that simple to do. I am going to put this up on my website at some point. I need to update my website at some point. So yeah, it is really that simple. Uh, the cassette player though could be a bit more complex because of its switch mode power supply required. Which is a pin in the ass. And bearing in mind the voltages I'm doing of switch modes of this, it's not the dangerous kind that generally is. It's not the dangerous kind that generates hundreds of volts because we're just dealing with few volts. So from the death of a DVD player board, DVD player with crap caps on, comes the life of an electron laptop. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed, because I know there's those of you who are interested out there. It is really that simple. And just do it through the composite. I'll probably hack it through the RF when I complete it, so then I get colour. Thanks for watching. Have a swell evening or whatever time you watch this.